please subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon for notifications of future videos. You will need dark blue 19S sewing machine, an iron, scissors, fat quarters, cushion pad, pins, tape measure or ruler, thread and a fabric pen. To create your front piece, measure your cushion pad on your fat quarter and add an inch to each side. Here we are using a 16 by 16 inch cushion pad. The inner square is where your cushion pad will sit. The outer square is your seam allowance. Use the entire fat quarter to create your back panel, adding one inch seam allowance as before. To create the opening on your back panel, draw a line two thirds along the length of your fat quarter. Next, cut the line you've just drawn, creating two separate pieces for your back pieces and cut away the excess. Now you have three pieces which make up your cushion cover. Front piece, back piece A, back piece B. On the two back panels of the cushion, A and B, we are going to create a hem so that the folds are strong where the cushion will be taken in and out for washing. To do this, fold 0.5 cm of the fabric along the joining edge on both pieces. Then fold again by 1 cm. Secure this down with a running stitch. Top tip, this will be visible on the reverse of the cushion. Perhaps try a different stitch to add detail. We've used a zigzag stitch. Next, press both pieces. Lay your front piece right side up on the table. Lay back panel A right side down so the corners of the fabric match up. Lay back panel B right side down on the opposite corner so that both pieces are overlap. This is where the opening for the cushion pad will be. Next, pin each piece in place. Sew along all four sides and back stitch where you come to the section where back pieces overlap. This will ensure that they are reinforced and won't pull apart. Next, trim and hem all the raw edges. To do this, clip the corners, trim along all the raw edges and finish with a zigzag stitch. Turn the cover right way out and use a crochet hook, pencil or your fingers to push out the corners. When you're happy with your corners, insert the cushion pad. Your zip-free cushion is now complete.